Romulus and Remus were born to a Latin princess and the god of Mars. As infants, they were abandoned by the Tiber River. However, a she-wolf strayed upon their path and raised them as her own. As grown adults, their decision to build a city was made atop of seven rolling hills. In Italy, the Etruscans lived in the north with an advanced alphabet as well as skill in metalworking. The Latins inhabited the central area of Italy and the Greeks were in the south. The Latins were the original founders of Rome, which sat on Palatine Hill. Tarkin the Proud became the last king of Rome after the revolt concerning his cruelty to his subjects. The Roman Empire then became a republic, which gives citizens the right to vote. The plebeians and the patricians made up the Roman classes, the plebeians in the common class and the patricians in the aristocracy class. The majority of Romans were farmers, merchants, and artisans. They had the right to vote, however, they could not hold powerful positions in the government. Patricians were very wealthy with lots of land, which was inherited from generation to generation. Tribunes were formed by the plebeians to protect their rights. Because there is no written law code, the patricians used this fact to their advantage and they promoted injustice in the eyes of the plebeians. The tribunes created the 12 tables to promote equality and fairness, and it became the foundation for Roman law systems. Romans boasted of their balanced government. Consuls were the two kings appointed for directing the army and the government in a one-year term. The Senate was an assembly of 300 aristocrats with power over making laws and enforcing them. The assemblies represented the democratic plebeian class, such as the tribal assembly. During chaos, crisis, and trouble with war, a dictator was chosen and gave ultimate power over the government and the army for six months. The military was made up of people who owned land, and they were organized into legions of 5,000 men. In each legion, groups of 80 men formed sentries with cavalry support. The Punic Wars were fought between competing empires of Rome and Carthage. The First Punic War was fought over Sicily and the Western Mediterranean, with Rome as the victor. In the Second Punic War, Hannibal, a strategic Carthaginian, marched his army daringly through Spain, France, and the Alps to gain control of Italy for 10 years. Scipio, a Roman general, fired back with a direct attack to Carthaginian territory and defeated Hannibal's army at Zana. The Third Punic War was a siege to the Carthage made by the Romans, which ultimately gave them a new Roman province in Carthage and an end to the threat. Finally, at the end of the Punic Wars, Rome fought for and gained the entire western Mediterranean.